1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. Not that room! Not that room! Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all times. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. This situation must be controlled before it's too late. They are multiplying too rapidly. Dawn of the Dead. Meet me on the roof at 9 o'clock. Carries two guns, one to stop trouble and one to make trouble. He was born in the ghetto and raised in the streets. He's been a man since he was a kid. And trouble is this man's name. If you're a friend of Mr. T's, you can count. If you're not, you can count yourself out. Couldn't get a damn who owns it or what color. Now you see that baby, I'll come back and see to you. You dig it? Or Tackett, the hitman. His brother was dead, and Tackett wanted answers fast. Get him. Once they turned him on, they couldn't turn him off. Bernie Casey is Tackett, the hitman, from MGM. Read it off. It's just a farmhouse and looks pretty innocent from the road. But once you're inside, you'll see what really happens on a terror farm. Invasion of the Blood Farmers. Coming in the dead of night. Coming to plant the living and harvest the dead. Invasion of the Blood Farmers. Within a week, the lab will be flooded with, with human blood. No! No! Stop them! Stop them! They plant the living and harvest the dead. Invasion of the Blood Farmers, released by... Vampires, I think they're possibly the most fascinating ball. More horrifying than Dracula. The Black Avenger. Black Avenger. From American International Pictures. Ten dead men's bodies were used to fashion Dr. Frankenstein's infamous creature. Tens of dozens of victims have kept Count Dracula alive for three centuries. Only one of these beings will survive their meeting. All new, different, shocking. You've never seen anything like Dracula versus Frankenstein. In color, rated GP. Human zombies rise from their coffins as living corpses. Voodoo witchcraft transforms beautiful women into thousand-year-old mummies. I can't believe it. It's true. We must possess the living to stay alive. Zombies rise from the death of sleep and stalk the city's dark streets for those lonely souls who will become their next tormented victims.